Uh, we have another question from Portsmouth, Virginia. Go ahead. My name is Linda Gunn. I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia. I'm part of the Virginia T-Payers uh, Taxpayers Alliance. My question has to do with executive orders. Under what circumstances should a president sign an executive order, and how frequently should such an order be signed? Uh, Congressman Paul. The uh, executive orders have been grossly abused by all administrations for a lot of years. But you can't, but some, of, some executive orders are legal. When the president executes proper function of the presidency, like moving troops and other things, yes, it's done with an executive order. But the executive order should never be used to legislate. That is what is so bad. So uh, the executive order should be taken under control. And I, has, I made a promise if as president, I would never use the executive order to legislate. Governor Perry, uh, as, as you well know, you signed an executive order requiring little girls, 11 and 12 year old girls, to get a vaccine to deal with a sexually transmitted disease uh, that could lead to cervical cancer. Was that a mistake? Uh, it, it was, in, indeed. I, uh, I, if I had it to do over again, I would have done it uh, differently. I would have gone to the legislature, worked with them, but what was driving me was obviously um, making a difference about young people's lives. Cervical cancer is a horrible way to die. And I happen to think that what we were trying to do was to clearly send the message that we're going to give moms and dads the opportunity to make that decision with parental uh, opt-out. Parental rights are very important in the state of Texas. We do it on a long list of, uh, of vaccines that, that are made. But on that particular issue, I will tell you that I made a mistake by not going to the legislature first. Let me address uh, uh, Ron Paul just a minute by saying I will use an executive order to get rid of as much of Obamacare as I can on day one. Congressman Bachman, do you have a problem with anything that Governor Perry just said? You're a mom. I'm a mom, and I'm a mom of three children. And to have innocent little 12-year-old girls be forced to have a government injection through an executive order is just flat out wrong. That should never be done. That's a violation of a liberty interest. That's ex little girls who have a negative reaction to this potentially dangerous drug don't get a mulligan. They don't get a do-over. The parents don't get a do-over. That's why I fought so hard in Washington, D.C. against President Obama and Obamacare. President Obama, in a stunning, shocking level of power now, just recently told all private insurance companies, you must offer the morning after abortion pill because I said so, and it must be free of charge. That same level coming through executive orders and through government dictates is wrong. And that's why, again, we have to have someone who's absolutely committed to the repeal of Obamacare, and I am. I won't rest right, until it's Governor repealed. Perry respond. Uh, uh, was what you signed into law, that vaccine for 11 and 12 year old girls, was that, as some of your critics have suggested, a mandate? No, sir, it wasn't. It was very clear. It had an opt out. And at the end of the day, this was about trying to stop a cancer and giving the parental option to opt out of that. And at the end of the day, you, you may criticize me about the way that I went about it, but at the end of the day, I am always going to err on the side of life. And that's what this was really all about. From Senator there. Santorum, can I, go can ahead. Can I add to that, Wolf? Uh, go, can I, I add to right, that? Hold on a second. Respond. First Congresswoman Bachman, then Senator Santorum. I just wanted to add that we cannot forget that in the midst of this executive order, there was a big drug company that made millions of dollars because of this mandate. We can't, we can't deny well, what that. What are you suggesting? What I'm saying is that it's wrong for a drug company because the, the governor's former chief of staff was the chief lobbyist for this drug company. The drug company gave thousands of dollars in political donations to the governor, and this is just flat out wrong. Right. The, the question is, is it about life or was it about millions of dollars and potentially wow. billions for a drug company? All right, I'll, I'll let Senator Santorum hold off for a second. You gotta respond to that. Yes, sir. Um, the company was Merck, and it was a $5,000 contribution that I had received from them. I raised about $30 million 
And if you're saying that I can be bought for $5,000, I'm offended. Well, I'm, a, I'm offended for all the little girls and the parents that didn't have a choice. That's what I'm offended for. Yeah, I, I think we need to hear what Governor Perry is saying. He's saying that his policy was right. He believes that what he did was right. He thinks he went about it the wrong way. I believe your policy is wrong. Yeah. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, why do we inoculate people with vaccines at public schools? Because we're afraid of those diseases being communicable between people at school. And therefore, to protect the rest of the people at school, we have vaccinations to protect those children. Unless Texas has a very progressive way of communicating diseases in their school by, by, by way of their curriculum, then there is no government purpose served for having little girls inoculated at the force and, and compulsion of the government. This is big government run amok. It is bad policy, and it should not have been done. I'm going to move on, uh, Governor Perry, unless you want to say anything else. Look, I, I think we've made uh, decisions in Texas. We put a $3 billion effort in to find the cure for cancer. There are a lot of different cancers out there. Uh, Texas, I think, day in and day out, is a place that protects life. Okay. I've passed parental notification pieces of legislation. I've been the most pro-life governor in the state of Texas. And what we were all about was trying to save young people's lives in Texas. Then right. give, then give pe parents the opt-in as opposed to give, teach them, let them opt-in, but do not force them to have this inoculation.